What is up YouTube? Welcome back again. It's about each and boy and there you can see three circuit boards are there. Well that's a TPA3110 stereo amp uh, kit and this thing has like 15 watt per channel uh, output 15 plus 15 total 30 watt. And that's a TPA3118 mono plus the amplifier with a 60 watt of uh, power output and this is a subwoofer filter board uh, of uh, 12 volt power supply so today I'm gonna connect all of them and gonna make a 2.1 amplifier as here you can see that's my old amplifier casing here on this side you can see one volume control knob for the input coming from that uh, 3.5 mm socket right there and these are the output wires from the volume control on this side there is uh, one single volume control and the speaker connectors were so uh, some things are already here and rest of that I'm gonna get it done alright so all the connections are done and here you can see that's the mono amplifier kit and I have connected a 35 volt and 4700 mmd of capacitor to handle the base and that's the subwoofer filter and that's the studio amplifier kit so coming from the main volume the input going to there to that kit and also from the main volume control going to this subwoofer filter kit yellow and blue wires you can see so uh, like uh, when I increase the main volume here then the channels and also the subwoofer will increase and decrease uh, like that uh, if I don't connect the subwoofer filter from here direct to the input then the subwoofer will be totally separate and you increase the volume uh, the channels will increase and decrease and for the subwoofer the total separate but here in this case I've connected uh, the subwoofer filter uh, from there the main volume control so I increase this volume control the channel and the base all gonna increase at the same time and also I've connected one potentiometer at the output of the uh, filter kit here you can see that's the out of the sub filter kit and it's going through this potentiometer to this uh, mono amplifier kit so from here I can increase and decrease the base so it's like I can increase the base according to the main channel uh, volume and then increase the main volume and all the base and uh, channels all are going to increase at the same time which is very nice and uh, I like that so they're all connected now let's turn it on and, and test a bit then I'm gonna put all the things inside of the casing and then I check again so let's turn this thing on so now here you can see the blue light is on I'm on this thing the red light is on so now let's play the song The subwoofer is right right under this table, so I cannot show you that. But hope you can hear the bass. And when I, I decrease this volume control, and there's there will be no bass. Let's check again. See no bass, only channels are there. So that's it, the sound is very good, crisp and clear sound coming from this 
Chan speakers and very good bass coming from uh, right under the table. So I'm gonna fix all this thing inside this casing and then gonna uh, check it again. Everything is set up and all the kits are inside this casing and I have mounted the kits with the both side adhesive tape and uh, so I can remove that anytime but uh, they will not move uh, so that's a base controller as I told you and that's the main volume control and that's a, a big capacitor to handle the base and all that's a stereo kit mono kit and subwoofer filter subwoofer out and stereo speakers out as a uh, power input and uh, audio input it's all set to go and it's turned on you can see the blue light and the red light so let's check some songs